Hey guys, Sonic Outcast here. As you can see, I scored me some high Ecto Cooler. Not bad. Apparently, thanks to Amazon.com Pantry, I was able to score one to two cases for seven eighty-eight plus tax, so it came out to twenty-two dollars. So I got twenty-four cans for twenty-two dollars. Not bad for Amazon Prime shipping and Amazon Pantry. This is a drink that I remember after Ghostbusters had come out. Long story short, it had Slimer in the commercials. Uh, it, it would be a supermarket late at night, and Stock Boy would unload in the juice section, and Slimer would appear and disappear, and I guess possess a, a high C orange juice drink type thing. And he's not on the cover on this can, it's just slime, but. All that took cooler ever really was was orange and tangerine juice that was colored green. Maybe a little bit of pineapple and apple, but apparently for this it's just orange and tangerine juice. Which is what I remember anyway. Colored green. But it was discontinued several years ago, which I didn't even remember. I think at a certain point he was taken off the can. So it was just high C Ecto Cooler without Slimer. And people went ballistic over this, like... How dare you take our favorite drink away from us, even though we kind of forgot it was still in stores. It's kind of gone the way of, like, Snapple. The, um, what version of Snapple did I like? Oh, yeah, there's sodas. They had, like, this cherry limeade soda, and there was, in the 90s, the Orbitz drink with the little, I guess, uh, vanilla-shaped dot things that were in the juices. Uh, there was Mystic Juice, I mean, there was Crystal Pepsi for a few months, and there was a lot of these bizarre drinks, but this one people apparently went ape over after it was gone and petitioned to have it back. Well, the only good thing about this new Ghostbusters movie is that we, for a limited time, get Ecto Cooler unless, you know, it does well. Maybe they'll keep this juice around or just buy orange and tangerine juice, mix it together and put in green food color. I don't know what to tell you. People were selling this like crazy on eBay for $60 to $300. Now the expiration on this, you can't see it too well, is October 24th, 2016. So even if you wanted to sell it on eBay and keep it after, I mean, the, the expiration is just before. I've known people that have sold Crystal Pepsi 20 years after the fact on eBay, but after a while, the fermentation, you know, if it ferments, if it doesn't, I, I mean, I, I can't imagine anything tasting that good past the expiration date, no matter how many times you try to preserve it. It just, you know, uh, I, I, other than nostalgia purposes, I wouldn't open it up and just say, well, I have a can of Ecto Cooler just for the sake of having a can of Ecto Cooler. Even people have sold an empty high C canisters of the original Ecto Cooler in the juice boxes for 20 30 bucks after they drank them they just I would see them at conventions I mean there was a box of Batman cereal from Batman 89 that was unopened that they were selling for $300 I think at a antique store in Pennsylvania they were selling this box of Adams Family cereal for $8 it just I don't get it this is not wine this is not going to age after 300 years and, and be good it's just fruit juice that's colored green. That's it. So, I'm going to slowly and surely just, you know, like a boss, I guess. I mean, I got my little chalice or whatever. And I'm just going to enjoy a can of nostalgia purpose. And just enjoy a can of that Ecto Cooler. Now, let's see. I poured half the can in right now. As you can see, it's green still. It's definitely green. Let's see how it tastes. Well, I should swirl it around, I guess. Yeah. Well, it smells like orange juice still, and it tastes like orange juice. I know people are like chug it, chug it. It's it's just orange juice colored green. I can go to any supermarket, get the two juices, put them together, put it in some food coloring. I don't know why people are selling this for a hundred bucks on eBay. 
why are people going ballistic over this or why they just don't bring it back or whatever. I don't, you know, it's like a food hack. If you heard of those nowadays. So I don't quite understand it. The ingredients, I don't remember what they were. You know, I guess in the late 90s they started this with the nutrition facts. But for this one can alone, 10% fruit juice, uh, 150 calories per serving per can, sodium 25 milligrams, sugar is 41 grams, and vitamin C 100%, which kind of makes sense. And it's from the Coca-Cola company, of course. Well, I mean, it's got all the, you know, high fructose, and the corn syrup, and as I said, the orange and tangerine juices can concentrate. Less than 0.5% of natural flavor is citric acid, of course, provides tartness, vitamin C, potassium, regular tartness, and, and yellow, blue, no, I'm sorry, yellow number five and blue number one, which I always was curious about that. Is that the food coloring? Well, I guess so. Like, if you can't get the green food coloring... Yellow and blue would make green. I, th I think you can even buy corn syrup, you know, in the supermarket. And fructose, I, I don't know if you can purchase that or that even makes a difference anymore. I've always been curious. I've never really researched it. Oh, it contains pure filtered water. Well, you know, would it not? But, and it's pasteurized too. And consumer, yeah, a blend of orange and tangerine juice, some concentrate, and other ingredients, yeah. And shake gently before enjoying, which I didn't do. And in Canada, and Maine, and Hawaii, you get five cents back if you recycle this. Well, I'm in Florida, so I don't think it matters. So people have been selling a can for 20 bucks, and they've been selling packages for more. And as again, as I've said, in the 80s and 90s, high C used to come in these canisters like the um, V8 canisters where you'd have to take the can opener and open it up and pour it into a pitcher or something you know at the end of the day I guess the excuse is to drink orange juice and I think any Orange juice that's pasteurized or have seen and tangerine juice has always been like it's not that I don't eat fruit or anything because I do, but citric acid does do a number on my stomach. And you know, even putting tangerine juice or eating regular tangerines are pretty sweet, but I mean, I don't know what to say. It's we don't seem to move forward in society, we move backwards. I love the fact how some of the sugar is like. Still stained on the side of the my glass is not condensation, mind you. This is this looks like it's fructose and corn syrup and sugar that's on the side here. I don't know what else to say. I mean, it's an interesting drink. It's an interesting beverage. I didn't think much about it after it's gone. I was like, okay, it's gone. And there were all these recipes on how to bring it back, and all these posts on on protesting to bring it back. Well, it's back, but the fact that people had to go on Twitter and Facebook to fight to get this drink back. I mean, other things are going on in the world and worrying about a fruit juice that came and went from the late 80s until the early 21st century. And I bet you dimes and donuts that if the new Ghostbusters movie didn't come to fruition or whatever the case may be, I don't think anybody would really care about this. I don't, I don't, I, I think I just woke up some, and people were just hoping to sell it at a convention. Well, I can't imagine after expert whatever, this is either A, going to stick around, or it's going to be sold on eBay or a convention, or whatever, but I recommend that if you need to get this, go out to your local supermarket, buy a thing of tangerine juice and orange juice, mix it together in a glass, take food coloring that's blue and yellow and make it green or you just get the green food coloring and mix it around like you would with milk and chocolate syrup or milk and vanilla syrup or milk and strawberry syrup and you got your food hack right there and that's it or if you can go to the local Cinemark theater where they're selling it, I don't know how they're selling it you know whatever but once the dust settles and smoke clears 
I go back to what I keep saying 15 times. It's it's just green colored orange juice. I liked it then, I like it now, but I'm not going to you know, sell half my stuff or keep it in the back somewhere and go like 30 years from now, hey, remember, you know, I'm not I'm not I mean, back then, when, when I, I didn't even think about keeping it, I mean, there's a shirt for a high Ciacto Cooler, but, you know, maybe I'll get that, but past all of it, it's kind of like it's amazing. When Gremlins came out, nobody remembers this. There was, They were promoting a candy apple cooler. Like, if you got that drink, you would get stickers for the Gremlins movie. Nobody seems to remember that. Nobody was pushing the Gremlins cereal, which was actually just Captain Crunch that was shaped like you know, Gizmo's head or the Gremlins' heads. Nobody cared about that. Nobody cared about Candy Apple Cooler, which I don't recall had anything to do with the Gremlins movie, so it's very bizarre. So, it's one half dozen of the other. If I could, zero being the lowest, five being the highest on this drink, for nostalgia purposes, it's, well, three and a half, I guess, but just don't go nuts. You know, if you miss out on getting the, the drink, you miss out on getting it. It's no harm, no foul. Go on Twitter. Go on the website to see where what stores are selling it and why and when and how. But this this is not the Cabbage Patch Kid of the '80s where people are gonna start fighting, beating the shit out of over, over beverage. We're not, and we're not at that point yet, folks. I mean, I'm not a religious person. I know in the Bible that people are gonna, you know, work for one day for a grain of bread. I don't, I don't even think we're at that point yet. And I'm just babbling because I was watching that. A documentary about the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse yesterday morning on History Channel where, you know, survivalists are saying, you know, we're going to work for like one day just for one grain of bread and survivalists are buying astronaut food and going ballistic. I, come on. Just, if you get it, enjoy it. If you don't, I go back to what I've been saying 2,500 times. So, with that said, I'm just going to, Enjoy my ecto cooler and what else is to say? I will see the movie, and Hunnic Outcast, you know, myself, Todd, Kendra, and Ed, we will be reviewing it. As well as we're going to try to get cosplayer Caden Francis, who appeared on our episode of Hunnic Outcast a few months ago. We're going to see if we can get her on, just, you know, kind of curious. But we will be reviewing the movie for a bonus. And if you look in the archives, you can see myself and, at the time, co host Wyatt Jones. Discussing the original Ghostbusters movie. Somewhere in between, we'll get to the second movie. You know, I'm sure we will. But until then, what else to say? But it's Miller time. <laughs>